Today, I got a really good one for you. We're going to be creating a shortcut that allows us to dictate our words and it creates a list for us. And there's two specific ways we can do this. So it just depends on the type of list you want to create. All right. So the very first thing is my voice is messed up. So I put off this video as long as I can, but I'm going to do my very best to EQ it. If I don't do a great job at it, I mean, it's allergy season and it got me right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this short, sweet, and simple. All right, let's dig into the app. All right, so we're going to open up shortcuts. You can, if you don't have shortcuts, you can always go over to the app store, bring it up. In this example, we're going to be using actually shortcuts and we're going to be using a reminders app. But again, you don't have to use the reminders app. You can use your app of choice. So if you prefer things, then you can use things. If you prefer OmniFocus like me, you can use OmniFocus. It's your app of choice, okay? All right, so really quickly, we can look over here, and this is the Shortcuts app, just in case this is your first Shortcuts. This is a pretty good one, actually, if it is your first Shortcut. This is Shortcuts right here, so just to make sure we're on the same page, you'll download that one, and then you'll actually download Apple's Reminders, which is also come standard with all Apple products. So we're gonna click on Reminders, and you can see right here, this is Apple Reminders. Once you have these two apps downloaded, you're literally ready to dive into this shortcut. All right, so now that we have those two downloaded, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna close out this just to keep it clean for you. And I like to use the shortcut key, but you can use whichever one you prefer. And these are the shortcuts, so we're gonna come down here and you can link, the link to the shortcut will actually be in the description below. So if you just, you know, wanna see how it's made, but you just want to download the actual shortcut, then you'll find that link below. And it's really, really simple. It's no setup required or anything like that, which is pretty cool, all right? So let's go down. We're gonna actually go to Playground because that's where I like to create new shortcuts and play around, then I move them out of this folder. All right, so we're going to name this shortcut, let's say, list, hmm, I'll say speak your list. After that, I'm going to give it a better icon, maybe something that represents speaking. So do they have anything? Sure do. So I'm going to actually look like I'm turning up the volume, but I'm going to actually, I'm going to go with this just because I want to keep it simple. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now, the very first thing we need to do, because the only shortcut or the only action we really need is the dictate action. So to do that, we're just gonna click right here and we're gonna go to dictate. And if we come down, we can see right here, you have speak text. You don't want speak text. What speak text does is read, what's, read your text out loud. If that's a shortcut you wanna create in the future, then you can, but that's not what you want. You want dictate text. So with dictate text, we're just going to say add shortcut. At this stage, we can look down here. And the only thing we want to change is stop recording after pause. Now, if you want your recording to stop after you pause, then by all means, don't change this. But for me, if I'm in a kitchen or I'm trying to figure out what all do I need to get from the grocery store and I pause, I don't necessarily want my shortcut to stop recording or listening to me until I physically press stop on my own. All right, but if you want a complete hands off, then this is what you will leave on for after pause. All right, so I'm gonna say on tap because that's what I want. Now that we have this, the next thing we wanna do is we need a split text, all right? So we're gonna add it in. And you see right here where it says dictate text, we already connected, but we wanted to say by space. By space means every time you say a word, and you say another word, it breaks those two words into their own line based on the spacing. Now, if you don't mind creating a shortcut that says new line each time, meaning that, for example, if you say milk, new line, then bread, new line, and you have no problem with doing that, then what you will do is you'll keep this as new line and you make sure you say after each item you want on your list, you say new line. Me personally, I prefer not to have to worry about all that stuff. I just want to say what I want to say. And if I say something like cornbread, it might put it on two different spaces. I Meaning it might not count cornbread as one word. It might break it up and you might see corn on one line and bread on another one. If you want to avoid something like that, then you take full control of your shortcut by saying new line. And you keep this as 
new line. But be, for me personally, because I know that those two words are going to be right underneath each other, I'll see it and I'll know, okay, that, that's supposed to be cornbread. It's like one of those little things that you weigh, your, you weigh the pros and cons on, all right? So I'm going to leave mine as spaces. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to say a repeat. So we're going to do a repeat with each. And you can see what this is going to do. It's going to take everything from our dictated list. And it's going to repeat whatever action we put in between here. Now, what we're going to do is the next thing we want to do is we want to grab our app. So, for example, if your app of choice was OmniFocus, you'll grab OmniFocus. If your app of choice is Things, you grab Things. In this specific example, my app of choice is Reminders. So I'm using Reminders. So I'm going to type in Reminders. And I'm going to click into the app, which is right here. It's going to show me everything. And what I want is add new reminder. And I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to drop it right there. Now, the cool thing about this is you can see it says inbox. So everything will automatically fall in my inbox. And you can see it says with no alert. Now, if you want to change that to alert or tag or anything like that, this is where you would do it. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to click right here. I'm going to come down here to where it says select variable. I'm going to click on repeat and that's it. And I'm going to say enter. Now at that point, this shortcut is done. So let's see how this shortcut plays out. All right. So I'm going to click on play. Milk, bread, cereal, cornbread, mustard, cabbage, Now at this point, I'm gonna click stop. I'm gonna say always allow. I'm gonna say always allow. I'm gonna say always allow. And now what you will notice is if you look right here, you'll see where cornbread, so they put cornbread as one word, that's pretty good. So now if we come over here to reminders, though that list should be inside of our reminders app. And you can see here's that list right here broken up. Now, I added this actual, this extra sentence, so that's why it is. But normally it would be milk, bread, cereal. You can see that actually dictation was smart enough to understand that cornbread was one word and not two because we had bread up here. You can see mustard, cabbage, which was pretty cool. So for all of these, now you can put these wherever you want. So I'm just going to clear them up off here so I don't confuse myself later on when I come back trying to figure out what I was doing. So I'm going to close all those out. And the last thing I want to show you is we're going to close this out and we're going to create the second shortcut. So instead, the only thing we're going to do different is instead of this, we're going to say new line. The cool thing about new line is now it's not just for your groceries. Now it could be for brain dumps. If you want to do a brain dump or if you just want to get stuff out your head or you want to just rant on, you know, some ideals you got and, you know, you just want to go, then that's what you'll use this for. So let's see how that will work. The only thing we changed was one thing, which is new line. Everything else is staying the same. If you wanted to, you can literally do this with any other action. All right. So I'm going to say play. Create new video new line create thumbnail for the new video new line get the b-roll shots that i need new line get the b-roll shots that i need new line make sure i bring my editing book bag all right so i hit stop on it and now if we go over to reminders and the cool thing about it is you know it worked because if you click right here you can see how it was passed through now you can see right here when i said new line it didn't change it up and you can see right here that is not really understanding what I said. So, I mean, it could be because my voice is off right now, or it just could be because, you know, dictation need a little bit more work. I'm not sure. But let's go over to reminders all the same. All right, so here we are at reminders. You can see where it says create new video. You can see where you get to say full sentences and full thoughts. And if you say new line and break it up. Now you can see right here where sometimes it might not catch your new line. So. Let's see if I come up in here, it says create thumbnail for new video. I, if I click, let's see right here and I hit enter, would it give me a new line? Nope. I was trying to see if this would actually allow me to create it. So I can't. So what I would have to do is I would have to use touch because my mouse isn't working well for that. So I could cut this out. 
and I could say enter so I can drop down right below here, say paste, and then I will have that next to do item. Now, for me personally, I simply just don't want to do this. Honestly, I don't want to say new line because I know sometimes it might not understand new line. And then I'll come look at my thing or come look at my task and it, everything is jumbled up together. So I personally don't want that, but this is the two ways you can do it. You can do it through telling it new line and have your shortcut. So we can have our shortcut right here set up as new line or we can have it set up for spaces. Now, this is the way it's going to be set up. So when you download the app, when you download the shortcut, rather, if you want it to say new line, the only thing you literally have to do is come up in the shortcut, click on instead of spaces, click on new line. And that's it. And you're ready to run that shortcut as often as you want. And just, I mean, just have a blast with it. With that being said, I normally would do something fancy and, you know, direct you to another video or something like that. But honestly, I feel sucky. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll catch you on the very next one and I'll link up a shortcut, another shortcut video or something like that for you. Later. Dang, I feel miserable, like just straight up miserable. But we still got to show up, right?